Recently, there has been a lot of buzz about low salary for freshers in major IT companies. In social media, people even compare the jobs of graduates to a tea maker. And this has led to online debates whether an IT career is still a good choice. Why are freshers paid so little? What's the real story behind it? Let's dive in and find out if a career in IT is really worth it. What do IT companies do? Information technology companies like TCS, Cognizant and Infosys are essential to businesses worldwide because they provide services like software development, IT consulting, tech support, business process outsourcing, etc. and charge for their services. In short, IT companies make money by solving tech problems of other businesses. And to provide these large scale services, they need a lot of people to do the work. In the last two years, Cognizant has hired over 200,000 people. Capgemini has hired more than 100,000 and other IT service companies have hired in tens of thousands of freshers. But why do IT companies pay less for freshers? 1. Quality concerns with graduates Studies show many fresh graduates in India aren't ready for jobs right away, raising concerns about their skills and salaries. Only a small percentage, less than 3% have technical skills in high demand areas like AI, which are essential in today's digital world. Lack of essential soft skills the IT industry in India needs employees who have strong communication skills and reasonably fluent in English as they frequently work with international clients. And they also need to think critically, make decisions and solve complex problems and these are called the higher order thinking skills. But many graduates do not have this higher order thinking skills, therefore companies are not able to deploy them on projects immediately. Gap between what students learn and what the industry needs. Although universities regularly update their curriculum, it typically does not fully match what the industry needs. There's a gap between what is taught in the college and what is needed at the workplace. IT companies like Cognizant train over 100,000 new hires every year to bridge the skill gap amongst freshers. This training is expensive, requires a lot of investments in facilities, trainers and time. Because of these costs, salaries are lower, especially until freshers become productive and billable to clients. But then why do tea and dosa makers sometimes earn more than a graduate? These jobs can pay more because they are cash based and depend on the number of customers served. Workers often earn more daily due to high demand and long hours without needing formal education or special training. We are not at all saying that making tea or dosa is bad. In fact, they are very important and significantly contribute to the economy. In fact, these jobs could be a fantastic training ground for those interested in marketing and human behavior. However, while these jobs offer immediate earnings, especially in busy areas, they do not allow the growth opportunities that an IT career offers. So, is an IT job worth it? Despite a lower starting salary, working at an IT service-based company can be a valuable opportunity. These companies expose you to different sectors and impactful projects. You also have a chance to learn new technologies and improve your skills. And with the right dedication and effort, you can use these experience to grow as a software engineer and over time potentially achieve way, way, way more. But is this strategy really effective? Let's hear from Anil, a former engineering manager at Google who has hired more than 100 graduates. So you've already joined an IT firm and you're seeking out good, great software engineering career. What do you do? Again, what is everyone in the industry looking for? Great skills. You have one advantage over freshers or those who are still in college, which is you've got your foot in the door in the industry. Now it's about what you do with that opportunity. Find opportunities to give value, no matter which team you are. Keep your skills up, build things, volunteer to do more in software engineering because you've joined a team, you're part of a real world project. Figure out how to give value there and make that part of your profile. And in the future, as you grow in the current organization or try to apply elsewhere, this is what is going to speak about you. So make sure you're doing impactful work and growing your skills as a software engineer. But if you are about to start college or are currently in college and are aiming for these dream jobs, what should you do? So you want to build a fantastic career in software engineering. Here's what you have to do. Build the skills that the industry needs. Hard skills, soft skills. In hard skills, it's coding, it's software development. In soft skills, it's your communication, your ability to work in a team. These are not difficult, but they will take some time. So put in efforts regularly every day and you're set for a good future. So if you are about to start or are already in college and aiming for top jobs, focus on building a strong foundation. Get involved in internships, work on projects and gain real world experience. For freshers choosing IT jobs, remember to keep learning and improving the skills. This approach will help you stand out to your future employers and set you up for long term success.